Hi, this is Trish, also known as Nanatine Treasures. I am a full-time reseller, selling mostly on eBay. I do sell a little bit on my car, but mostly eBay. I do videos on what I sold, where I source from, where do I get my items, how much it's sold for, different videos. I'm also doing a vlog every day. Now this is a video because I did a house clean out and if you haven't seen that video yet, you need to go back and watch the house clean out and you need to see the first video I did, part one video of what I got from the house clean out. Now this is video part two. This is more stuff I got from the house clean out. And when I did that video, the beginning of it did not record. So I'm putting this in for part two of the video clean out. You don't want to miss it. Be right back. Okay, thank you for coming back and roll the film. Let's get started. Okay. First, right off the bat, you can see here, these are dated 1970. This one, and of course you can see Cottonelle pink. Pink, toilet paper, and a little bit dirty on the bottom, which I can clean up, but there's a pink one, and I know there's a date on here. You can see that 1977. Hard to see, it, but it's right there. 1977. Pink one and the green one. Now, although the green one, the package is ripped, but this has never been used. It's never been opened. And this is green, and also it is from 1977. You can see that right there. Hard to see, but yeah, that, those two, dirty. And to match that, look at this. Brand new, never open, Scott's, Scotty's tissues. And these are actually from 1975 1975 that's pretty cool pretty sweet so I have those uh, a lot of stuff needs clean now these are gloves brand new still attached together now these are, I would say these are from the 60s maybe let's see let's, there's actually a tag in here Glosser Brothers, which I know that Glosser Brothers store, that's been closed for probably 30 years. So these are probably from the 70s. Don't know when these are from, brand new. Made in Japan, so you know that these are old. Brand new. These also brand new, still has the card in them. Handle with care and there's, they're not attached, but with the card in there, you can tell that's brand new. Let's see if that card, ooh, there's some information on the card, maybe. Let's see if there's a date. Just says manufactured in USA. We want you to know how to care for them. Van, how would you say that? Ralty, Van Ralty. Van Ralty gloves manufactured in USA. Nothing on the back. Stick that right back in there. So I'm not sure the date on these. These could be from the 60s. This house that we did, everything in this house was vintage. The lady, she definitely was a hoarder. So there's a lot of stuff that there's doubles. Doubles of many items. Let's see if the date is on this one. Gloves underneath them because with nothing. No, it just talks about handling, handle with care, and it has the same name. So I'm not sure on the date, but if I were to guess, I would guess 
Probably 60s, could be 70s. I'll research it to find it, hopefully. Here's a brand new pair in the package still. And made in Japan, so yeah. When it made in Japan, you know it's old. Occupied Japan. <laughs> Even older, these are large. Made in USA. Hope you can see that. Might have to switch the camera around. Another pair, brand new. It's made in Taiwan, Republic of China. Old, made in Taiwan, Republic of China. And these I know are old. They have the tag. Pen Traffic. Pen Traffic is another building like Glosser Brothers locally here that have been closed at least 30 years, maybe longer. Made in Taiwan, Republic of China, cotton, cotton. So, an original price on these. You see that? Two dollars. Yeah, it's hard to see. I'm gonna have to switch this video to the other side. So that is the gloves. Okay, this uh, is a crock pot I found. I didn't get to show that in the video that I was showing other appliances, but this is the, it almost looks like that copper color, but it's really not real dark like copper, but it's definitely old. It still has the lid and the inside, as you can see, looks brand new. Still has that information. Model 3200 slash 1. So I think that this here could be from the 70s. And that's the lid still on it, which that's rare to find to still have with the lid. And this pot. Oh, there's so much stuff here, guys. This here pot. Now this is just a one quart, but it's like new. You can see that there's a little bit of dirt in there that can be cleaned out inside like new. This is Kingsbury Dogwood Cookware Collection, Japan. So you know that's old. That's also from her house. And then we have this complete collection of these <laughs> aluminum canister set. All here. And the cool thing about this one is, show you. See right there. So we have this complete set. There's still some flour in there. It's clean. So we have the flour. With the lid. Then we have the sugar. With the lid. There's some dents on the lid here. I don't think that's gonna hurt it. And obviously these need clean. Then there's the coffee with the lid. It's like new, it just needs clean. Needs clean, but that's fine. Then we have the tea. With the lid. And it's clean. There it is. These are all aluminum, guys. Vintage, vintage, vintage. And then we have this is the grease. Back in the day, they used to save grease, bacon grease especially, and save it and save it and save it and cook with it, bake with it. 
and this is what they would do is they would pour it in there as they pour it this goes on so all the bigger stuff would stay here through the strainer the grease then would fall through and you'd say just grease without all the little particles in that this here piece is rarely rarely ever found with the collection and then it also has its own lid so that is amazing 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 put all these back on and we have that I wish I had the glasses that went with this This is such a nice piece from the 60s, and it would have had six or eight matching glasses with even a little uh, carrying thing. I wish I had all that, but I just have that. That's still a nice piece. Good old Tang. And I actually have exactly the same one that I I use mine all the time, exactly the same one. This actually has the price sticker on it. So you can see, it's never been used. Nice, nice piece, I love mine. Here's a nice old ball, perfect mason. This is what we found in the attic, just one of these very old has the rubber ring and actually has the glass sealer which that's rare these are hard to find Lear VU so we have both of those here's a nice old key this is glass with aluminum band no chips or cracks perfect condition seven regular cups on the edge and that says Pyrex it's a beautiful Pyrex piece guys and underneath it has well that's for this way but it does say in there Pyrex made in USA so inside there has six cups. Pyrex, made in USA. Nice piece. No chips or cracks, beautiful. Just needs cleaned up. And we have two plates. This one is still in the original and this came with it. And it would have been in here on there but anyways nineteen seventy seven and Denmark old Old Complex Blues, uh, Sven Jensen of Denmark, 8th edition Christmas. Well, no, Zans Christian Anderson, the shop men, Commonwealth. So that's the one, and this is the other one still in the plastic and it has the same information on this one so we have that guys nice plate and I don't know if I showed you this tray I think you've seen this tray in the other video lunch with Uncle Pete and the 
coast to coast with the map, but they did write on here. 6919 Jefferson Avenue, Falls Church, Virginia. Don't know why they wrote that, but that's a magic marker. I don't know if I should take that off or if I should leave that on. Let me know. Put in the comments what I should do. I don't know. This is a beautiful piece. It's not marked, which doesn't surprise me because it's so old. I'm guessing this is Fenton because of the pattern, the great pattern with the leaves. I'll look that pattern up to be sure, but I do believe it is. There's no chips, no chips, it's perfect. And with this, I don't know that this piece goes with it, but this is a piece that would hold a planter just like that. But this here has a different pattern, different color almost. So I'm thinking this is, does not go with this sell it that way or sell it separately I don't know I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but looks pretty weird it's not even the same color so two different pieces but nice pieces and we have these old tins a pair Tins. Very nice. They still have the price. Original price was 99 cents. Thrift Drug Store. And they are marked England. Made in England. Container. Made in England container. On the bottom. And there is two of them. And they are exactly the same. This one looks a little bit cleaner. So nice pieces. Two nice pieces. And I have this canister. It's not marked. There was stamped on there, but I part of the stamp is gone everywhere. I don't know what it said, but this is the plastic. So maybe this is from the 70s, I'm guessing. Maybe 80s. But it's a cute little canister thing. So that's that. I have this piece. I have no idea what this is. It's an elephant. You can see that elephant? That's the signature on it. Greystone, breaststone, crest, I don't know, gaston. Hold your Elephant. This copper on this plaque has a protective liqueur coating. Do not use polishes. Wipe only with a soft cloth. Okay. You can hang it. Little hanger. It's got some weight to it. Just a very interesting piece. Never heard of that? I'll have to look that up because I don't know what that is. glass got etching on it I'll look for that mark mark nice old piece this I have no clue what it is it looks like marble but I think it's plaster it does say made in Japan you can see that made in Japan I don't know what that is. 
feels like marble. It's not solid, it's hollow. Let me know, guys. Anybody out there know what the heck that is? Made in Japan. It's old. Don't know what it is, what it's used for. Looks like an old railroad crossing thing. And it would have like an arm here that would come down and stop the cars. I don't know. Maybe it's a... Let me know. Got a couple of old these. Uh, does anybody ever use these anymore still? These aren't that old. Date on them is 2002. They might still sell. Did I show you this yet? I don't know. Activity books? 20 activity books? I think I might have showed you this. We'll look at it again. All the crayons still in the box. All the booklets said 20, right? Let's see if they're all here. One, two. by the Sophia Publishing Company, Akron, Ohio, made in USA. These owls are so cute. And they're just little fun books. You can tell by the coloring of the pages how old. Hard to see. Akron, Ohio. So I don't know how old these are. So a dozen of these and three crayons. Yep, they're all in there, never used. Best color crayons for best color effects. Sure you are. All in there, never used. All in there, never used. Let's see if there's any information on this box. 20 activity books I'm missing. Almost half. And no date. No date. But you could tell by looking at the pictures how that looks that it's old. Old, old graphics. That, just the pictures alone are epic. How do you say that? Southfield? Southfield? I don't know. Cut out games, follow the dots, coloring books, six to ten years. Yeah, you can tell by the colors of this box, the style, it's old. Maybe from the 50s, 60s. I'll look it up. Oh, it never ends. Beautiful brand new purse. I don't want to touch it because my hands are dirty. Oh, she has gloves in here. Must have just stuffed them in there because, oh my, earrings in here that match. Look at this five guys. Clip-ons, beautiful. Must have used this, went to a wedding one time, and that was it. Put them in there, and gloves that matched. Wore them one time. Made of dinner nylon in Japan. Size 7. So, yeah, that's old. Put that back in there, put the paper back in. 
Guaranteed, this purse was used one time at a wedding. That's how that lady was. And then she bought new for the next time. Nice find, guys. Nice find there. And we have old bras, still in box. Cross your heart. White. Original price, $13.95. is this high white bathroom cloth lint free another superior product of Pella research New York New York printed in USA so I guess this is like a before microfiber kind of cloth lint free non streaking for your mirrors <laughs> yeah only bathroom cloth of its kind. Yeah, that feels like a microfiber, like a chamois. The first original chamois. <laughs> okay, and there's two books. These are exactly the same. Don't know anything about them. U.S. 1495, Canada. These are probably not that old. Maybe from the 90s. Still, that's 20 years old, guys. No, nothing. ISN has ISN number. So you know it's not that old with the ISN. But it's cute little books. Have to look them up. I know this video is getting a little long, guys. Let me finish up here. There's two of these. Cats, 25 cents, that's a cute little, copyright 1969, by Dell Publishing Company, Dell Purse Book, okay have that. Now this is a little dilemma I have. Found this great General Electric little Walkman radio type thing and I opened it up. Let's have the model. Has the ear AM FM General Electric model number 7-2506A made in Hong Kong but when I opened it, guys, the battery was still in there and it's like welded on. Like I can't get it off. Should I just pull it, cut this all off? I don't know how to get that off. It's, I mean, I guess I just pull that off. It's ruined. It's not going to work. But maybe this part can be replaced. Somebody that knows how to mess with these little transistor radios. And I found another one here. Silverstone transistor. Have not opened it yet. Makes a noise. I don't know if that's good or not. I have to unscrew it. It's got screws in there, and oh, obviously that's the on and off button that's inside there. So I'll have to open it up and see what the issues are with it and see if it works. But that's a 
pretty cool old piece. They both need work done. Got this. For Lear. I might have showed you this. I don't know. It's a box, but one is missing. This is old milk and shower milk cream. La Via La Tia. No clue. No clue. Shea butter. Lavender. Body. Honey. Meal. Bath and shower. Probably not that old. Okay, that's a cream douche. Cream douche hydro tint, high hydrant, ultra rose. There you go. Uh, shower cream. What the heck is shower cream moisturizing? Body shampoo. I don't know, guys. Don't know. Another one of those honey ones. Okay. So box of. Oh yeah, fun stuff, huh? Definitely have to check that out. What's this? Oh. Single jam and spoon. Bridal lane. So, a little crew carrying case thing. So that silver plated. Little spoon. Little tarnished. <laughs> yeah, silver plate. That's hard to read, huh? Silver plate. Oh, what does that say? Crystal by Bridal Late, made in England. It's cleaned up. A uh, piece of jewelry here. I have no jewelry tester. Don't know if it's real. Don't know, guys. Looks like a bird. Get my eyeglass and look, I don't think it's marked. So I'll definitely have to fix that. Those are like pink. Remind me of tiger eyes. I don't know jewelry at all. Not at all. This is a pretty ring. Kind of tarnished green there. Don't know if that's copper. Also, again, I don't see any markings. Needs clean. My hands are dirty. So we have that. Is all jewelry. Again, Pen Traffic was the local shop here. But I don't think any of this is. It's old, old, old. It's got to be at least 40, 30, 40 years old. Oh, it says $5 on tour. So they're not really worth anything. Got them on sale for $1.99. 99 cents. Mark down, mark down, mark down. I know they're old. They're probably not real. There's an old stick pin. That's pretty little dragonfly. Don't see that it's marked either. Probably worth nothing, but. Old. Got pink ones. Same as those. Another pair. So this is a little different. Same color, different style. Oh, I see. Oh, look at that. Same color, different style. Yeah, that's what that is all about. Okay. Nothing fabulous that I know of, but they are old. Pen traffic.
And we have a stack of old linens. Now this needs clean. Very dirty, but never used just from being stored. You can tell. Pretty white there, but what does that say? Nice old dish towel. St. Francis General Hospital. Oh, she must have got this when she was in the hospital. Don't know how old it is. Well, that's pretty trashed. Nice big hole in it. That will go in the garbage. There's this one. Pretty stained up. Don't even know if it's worth trying to do anything with these. I don't know how old they are, but you can tell by the color of them, the pattern, that they're old. There's no tags on any of them. Stained up. I imagine she used them. Probably take them to the flea market. Maybe they'll sell at the flea market. Oh, that's a pretty bad shape one too. Yeah, we'll just throw that in the garbage. Wow, this one looks brand new. Oh yeah, it is. There's a brand new one. Three, four dollar. Morgan Jones, made with morel yarn. Fine France since 1872. Made in the USA. So yeah, it's gotta be pretty old. That's brand new, you can tell, feel of it. So, do that one online, although there is some staining just have to make note of that online if I do a oh boy this one looks brand new too except it's stained the colors are just epic I love these colors this looks like it's never been used it's never been washed you could tell by that tag all cotton made in USA Canon company very common company. Oh, look at the colors on this. Now this is a pillowcase. Take that to the flea market. It doesn't, I'll have to clean it first, but you can tell by the feel of it. I don't know that it's ever been cleaned. And what are these? These might be drapes, little curtains maybe. Oh no, these are pillowcases. Another set of pillowcases. I'm not seeing any tags. If these were homemade, they used to sew. Yeah, that, I think these were. They used to sew frilly stuff on plain white pillowcases back in the day, back in the 50s and the 60s. That's what they used to do to make them pretty. That definitely looks hand stitched. Yep. Need cleaned. We've got a pair. Definitely need to clean. If I hopefully I can get some of that out. It's like black mark. Could just be soot. I don't know. But definitely handmade. Yeah, you can tell. All of the stitching was done, I'm sure that was done on the machine, but this here was definitely done by hand. Very pretty. So I'll have to do all of that. Cleaning, okay. One brand new one, that's pretty sweet. These are just garbage. An old steam type purlin iron. It's old. Touch and curl. Don't know if it works. Haven't tried it yet. Mist. Yeah, it has a spray mist on it. Made. So made. Curling style made. Model, but nothing. General Electric, made in, what did that say?
I have no idea. Mate in. What is that word? Couldn't tell you. Singapore. That's what it says. Singapore. Made in Singapore. That's interesting. It says General Electric Bridgeford, Connecticut. Made in Singapore. You probably all figured that out long before me. I'm sorry. This is really pretty. Stitch in time. It's like brand new. It's like plastic. Little snap. Open it up. And I think I did show this before when we were at the house in the other video. It's a little sewing kit. Traveling sewing kit. Very nice piece. And I have this lunch bag, which is Experience Sites Conference from 2001. All aboard, success is a journey. January 14th to 17th, San Antonio. February 7th to the 18th, San Diego. And April 8th to the 11th. And wherever that is, I can't tell. That's 2001. Nice little lunch bag. Yes, it looks like it was never used. Made in China. Thank you. Made in China. 2001. Okay guys, that's it for this one. That was part two. There'll be many more parts. Three, four, five, six. I don't know how many more, but there's still a lot of more stuff I gotta go through. So please, if you like what you see, it's thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care either way. Just leave a comment. If you hate it, you love it. I don't mind. Subscribe. Yes, please subscribe and share. Share with people you like if you like the film share it with people you don't like if you don't like the video so share it now see you next time thanks for watching us bye